So the relative strength index has a standard 14 periods on your traditional charting softwares. You can go ahead and change those things. I prefer the standard 14 periods. And then when you hear the relative strength index, we are not referring to relative strength. The relative strength index, RSI for short, is simply a momentum indicator. Relative strength is one asset compared to another. So if financials are outperforming the S&P 500, financials are showing relative strength. If healthcare is underperforming the S&P 500, healthcare is showing relative weakness, okay? So when we talk about RSI, the relative strength index, we are simply referring to a momentum indicator. And then when you hear me say period, if we're looking at a weekly chart, that means we're using a 14 week RSI. And if we're looking at a daily chart, that means we're looking at a 14 day RSI. And the indicator goes from zero to 100. So all that that means is that it's an oscillator. So the RSI is a momentum oscillator that goes between zero and 100. Traditionally, 30 is giving you an oversold reading and 70 is giving you an overbought reading. So now we're gonna talk about how we use that 30 and 70 to our advantage. 